What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and this video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. But in this one we got some big injury updates on the quarterback Jack Tuttle as he could be making his way back and potentially we could see a change at QB1. We go over that plus Kirk Campbell showing more talk about the Michigan offense, why there's urgency but no panic. Also TJ Guy shares what the Michigan players said to each other in a text and in a group chat following the Texas game. Plus, we go over some big flip targets in the 2025 class for Michigan. It's all going to be in this video and more, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we all know Davis Warren is Michigan's starting quarterback right now, but Michigan just got some good news in the quarterback room as obviously, you know, during the offseason, it was mainly a competition between Jack Tuttle, Davis Warren, and Alex Orgy. However, Jack Tuttle, he was injured throughout fall camp. He missed, you know, a lot of time in fall camp, and he, he has been listed on the questionable for the official availability report, both two games against Fresno State in Texas. However, he was in a helmet and shoulder pads and took part in warm-ups ahead of the week two matchup against Texas. And head coach Sharon Moore did say yesterday that Tuttle has been throwing more this week and he said it looks like he'll be ready to go. And that's really all he said about uh, you know, his injury update, but that is certainly some good news. Uh, offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Kirk Campbell also said on Inside Michigan Football Radio Show that Jack has been engaged since day one in the room. He's in every quarterback meeting. He comes in and meets with me all the time, and he's developed very far along. He said we're hoping he'll be able to suit up and possibly enters games if he ever earns that position by this week or USC. So this is certainly some good news for Michigan. Again, you know, we talked about Jack Tuttle having that experienced seventh year senior. And right now, obviously, Michigan's offense is struggling. You know, many fans, you know, including myself, are frustrated with Davis Warren's performance. Not only his performance, though, because, you know, there are bigger issues on offense, I think, that really just need to be fixed. You know, the offensive line, the running game, the play calling has been questionable as well. However, you know, Davis Warren hasn't been playing that great himself, and he has even admitted it. You know, he's got to be better. The offense as a whole has got to be better. You know, Davis Warren, he struggled on third downs. Michigan's offense went 3 for 12 on third down efficiency against Texas, and you just can't have that. You have got to convert on third downs. So I am interested to see if Michigan gives Jack Tuttle a chance at the starting job if he is fully healthy enough. Now, Sharon Moore, you know, in the offseason, uh, when Jack Tuttle was throwing, he said that he's been great, he's been accurate, throwing it hard, physical, fast, and he looks good. And I uh, said, watching him compete, and we're ready to see what happens. Now, Michigan also has the freshman Jaden Davis, and uh, Kirk Campbell did say that he's a great leader. He's got a quiet confidence that that's infectious to the people around him and he's learned the offense really fast for a freshman but he just said he just needs to continue to work on faster feet in the pocket and development on pocket stuff and he did kind of leave open the possibility of playing him as he said that you know hopefully in practice we can just give him some reps just to continue to develop him through the season because it is a long season and you don't know what's going to happen so there's that let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about that the jack Tuttle injury some good news there i'm sure michigan will start davis warren against arkansas state but let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see jack Tuttle get a possession or two especially if the offense is struggling uh, you know, if he is available. As far as Alex Orgy, you know, I don't, I just don't see him starting. I think the coaching staff would have put him in already and given him a chance. So it sucks because, you know, I love Alex Orgy. He is a phenomenal athlete. I just don't know if he can throw the ball good enough to play quarterback. And I think the coaching staff has kind of made that evident to us that they don't really trust him in there. So we'll see what happens. Definitely looking for some improvement from the offense though. And, uh, you know, definitely something has to change. Now, real quick here, do want to give a shout out to BetUS, the sponsor of this video and channel throughout the football season. Talked a lot about them already, guys. They have all the odds you need this football season. Also, they're currently 
offering a 150% deposit bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000 with code YouTube150. So head on over to betus.com and use promo code YouTube150. Take advantage of this offer and hey, bet on a Michigan game, a Lions game, or whatever games you think you can win some money on. So go check them out, guys. I would appreciate it. Obviously, please gamble responsibly, but let's go ahead and get right back into it here. Now, Sean Moore and Kirk Campbell did uh, speak more about the Texas loss. Uh, Sean Moore said that, you know, I think guys are getting in a rhythm offensively. You know, the thing we talked about on offense is we've got to run the ball more. We've got to run the ball more efficiently and do things to help us and move the chains and get the ball in the end zone, which we are not doing enough. So we'll continue to fix that. Defensively, guys just got to tackle. Guys have to go make plays and guys aren't in position or not communicating, which I would totally agree there defensively. A lot of missed tackles and uh, Texas definitely took advantage of that defense because the players were not communicating well enough in that game, especially in the first half. Uh, Kurt Campbell, though, we talked about the offense. I uh, said that we talked about this as a unit, you know, on how long it will take for 10 new starters to feel com comfortable. He said there's no need for them to panic uh, that things didn't go well, but the sense of uh, urgency has to pick up amongst the group. Chemistry is going to get better day by day, and hopefully this week we can put on the full display. And he said we've got to keep the game plan simple, uh, but complex for the defense you know be able to get the ball in the per perimeter but also use our physicality on the inside and take the necessary shots in the play action game when they present themselves and i showed more you know he said it's urgency it's not panic you know following the loss to texas you know he said guys are hurt guys are stung guys don't feel happy you know guys aren't smiling and laughing but now it's our job to uplift them and bring them back to the light of, hey, this happened. Now we've got to see the mistakes, we've got to fix the mistakes, and we've got to attack the mistakes, and we've got to get better from it. He said we can't let this game beat us again. And even TJ Guy, the senior edge, uh, he said on Monday, talking to reporters that, you know, Saturday was a sad day for Michigan, but we have 10 more opportunities left in the season. He said we got to learn from it, get better, and fight, and keep playing. And he said we haven't peaked yet. We're not at our best yet for sure. He said, you know, it's just week two and it's a whole new team, whole new defense, whole new style, and a whole new DC and we're gonna gel. It's gonna take time. We just played a great team, but uh, he did say that, you know, we got a text in our group chat, kind of like our upperclassmen group chat saying right after the game, like, don't come into the building if you're not ready to turn the ship around. He said, you know, not saying the ship sunk or anything like that, but we don't have room for anybody who's not in this with us the whole way. So the players know, you know, what happened. They're all taking accountability the coaches know but listen I mean that Texas team they are a good team Michigan made a lot of mistakes they lost the time of possession battle the turnover battle third down efficiency was terrible offensively they were getting dominated in the trenches and they never never established the run game and like I said in my previous video that is Michigan's blueprint for success they have to get back to that and they have to win those battles I know a lot of fans are frustrated you know I see it in the comment section but I also think we got to be patient with this team because obviously they're not at their peak yet we got a whole season to go this team's going to get better and obviously we need to see change fast because we got a USC team coming in uh, in week four that is firing in all cylinders right now so we'll see what happens I'm excited to see you know how this team responds because I think the whole team knows that they are better than uh, what we saw Saturday now I will say two things because two uh, both of these can be true obviously Michigan in 2021 they were a playoff team they won the Big Ten beat Ohio State and then they went and played 2021 Georgia which obviously that year Michigan was good enough to beat most teams but not close to elite like that Georgia team was which could be uh, what that Texas game was uh, you know on Saturday for Michigan we just have to wait and see you know Texas just might be that good or this Michigan team just might not be that good and they might be taking a step back this year kind of in a rebuilding phase so both of these could be true I think we just have to wait and find out and see how the season goes but uh, let me know what you guys think did want to talk about 
uh, some recruiting news and a new flip target for Michigan. And that is the 2025 four-star linebacker, currently Miami commit Gavin Nix, linebacker from IMG Academy, which is also where top 100 linebacker Nathaniel Wusu Boateng goes to. And Michigan's still going after him. However, it appears that uh, Boateng or Awusu Boateng is going to take his recruitment deep into the process. And Brian Jean Mary has slowly started to expand the board. And Michigan, according to E.G. Hound of the Wolverine, could be getting an official visit from Gavin Nix in the future. So Michigan going after both Nix and Arusu Boateng now. And Arusu Boateng also uh, potentially planning to come up to the USC Michigan game with uh, current Michigan commit Donovan Johnson as well. Also wanted to talk about the 2025 four-star cornerback and current Oregon commit Brandon Finney as he made a visit this past weekend to the Michigan Texas game and his visit was actually an unofficial visit which means he can return to Michigan for an official visit later this fall and currently he does plan to potentially come back later in the season so two potential flip targets there for Michigan on the recruiting trail but with that that's going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy again shout out to BetUS go ahead check them out guys use code YouTube 150 but with that if you guys did go ahead to enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. And other than that, we will see you guys in the next video. Go Blue!